Runners, got three minutes? Do this to prevent low back pain and improve your downhill running. First, we're gonna stretch our hip flexors with a lunge stretch. So starting on the ground, one foot's gonna go out in front, and we wanna make sure we've got our hips nice and level. A lot of times the tendency is to tip your hips this way. So we wanna keep our hips level, and we wanna make sure that we're squeezing with our abs and keeping our low back nice and flat. So as I go forward into this stretch, I don't wanna tip my hips and arch my back. I want to make sure that I'm keeping everything nice and level. And as I move forward into that stretch, I should feel the stretch through my hip flexors down the front of my leg right here. So coming forward like that, and we're gonna hold this stretch for 30 seconds on each side. Next, we're gonna activate our glutes using donkey kicks. So starting on all fours, we're gonna keep our low back nice and flat. Belly button is gonna pull up towards our spine and that's gonna keep everything here nice and flat. From there, I'm thinking about squeezing with my butt and lifting one heel straight up into the air and back down. Nice, slow and controlled. And I wanna make sure that that heel is going straight up and down, not coming across this way or to the outside. I want that nice and straight. And we're gonna do 15 of these on each side. Finally, we're gonna apply this to a movement using leg swings. So just like if you were running, we're gonna be moving our leg back and forth underneath our body, but we're gonna keep everything except for the one leg that's moving as strong and stable as possible. And this is a really good way to check and see if you have any little movement imbalances or weird things that are going on. So one hand is gonna hold on to a wall, a tree, a fence, anything like that. We're gonna keep one foot on the ground and the other leg is gonna swing. So I'm standing nice and tall, shoulders are back. I'm thinking about squeezing with my core and I'm gonna start slow and gradually move faster. So my one leg is just gonna hover above the ground. It's gonna come forwards and as I come back, I'm thinking about squeezing with my butt, coming back here and forward again. So starting nice and slow and then as we go, we should go faster and faster and we want that leg coming straight back. So if I really swing, you'll see how I kind of externally rotate and whip backwards a little bit. That's what we don't want to do. We want to keep things nice and straight. So we should be moving straight back and forwards. And we don't want to have our hips tipping forwards as we swing that leg. So hips are stable and that leg is coming straight back behind us. So do this for 30 seconds on each side. So if you want to prevent low back pain and improve your downhill running, do this before your next run. See you next time.